NATO will deploy a permanent full-scale military force on its border with Russia to combat a future invasion, Alliance's chief says. This post received a score of 87,000, with an upvote ratio of 89%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Not only on the border with Russia, but also on the border with Belarus. I expect the Sawalki corridor between Kaliningrad and Belarus to become the most heavily militarized area in Europe. Well, that's miles and miles east of the Fulda Gap. I read somewhere that the A-10 was developed specifically to defend the Fulda Gap during the Cold War edit. I said it was made for the Cold War. I'm not saying it's applicable now. Everything back then was mainly developed to stop a Russian invasion. Still the Fulda Gap would have fallen within days. It was estimated about two days until Russia reached Rhine main area and its air base. Curious. Genuinely, have military historians adjusted those predictions based on what we know or knew a year ago? I don't want to bring the current conflict into this question. About the production capacity economy of Russia after the space race drain? Rather, was the space race as important to the destabilization of the Soviet Union as space historians might make it sound? Would the durability of the A-10 be the biggest factor in the defense of supply corridors from Russia if the above were true, as that would suggest the Russians couldn't have sustained an invasion even then? Or do W. The thing is that the balance of power in the 60s to 70s was kind of in favor of the Soviets. It was the stagnation of Soviet technology while Western stuff made leaps and bounds in the late 70s to 80s that led to a clear-cut NATO supremacy. The outdated legacy Soviet hordes of rusted equipment we see today were once new and shiny. Well, kinda. The technological gap was never really immense either way and the Soviets were not really dependent on technological superiority on land and on air due to larger numbers. In the 80s, Reagan and NATO started putting emphasis on large numbers of top-of-the-line equipment and better training, which tipped the balance. Even still, NATO supremacy wasn't quite so clear-cut. The Warsaw Pact still had vastly superior numbers, on par or even slightly superior technology in some areas and vastly worse in some. It also feels, major warning here, lack of specific sources, as if current leadership is in it for themselves, as if they're stealing everything they can from the burning building that is Russia. Meanwhile, Soviet leadership had many true believers who instead were trying to put the fire out and genuinely wanted what was best for the nation and its people. Russia's leadership is basically the Soviet version of our boomer generation. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.